In this example, we're going to look at three radioactive decay reactions. We're going to look at beta decay, alpha decay, as well as electron transfer. So let's begin with example number one. Let's look at our beta decay reaction. So in this example, we begin with one reactant. Our reactant is a single uranium atom that has 92 uh, protons and 239 nucleons. And that means, since we have 239 nucleons, to find the number of neutrons, we basically subtract 293 minus 92, and that gives us 147. So we have 147 neutrons, 92 protons, and 147 plus 92 gives us the number of nucleons. So what happens is this single reactant undergoes beta decay. And in beta decay, one of the neutrons found on this uranium atom decomposes. It destroys itself to produce one electron as well as one proton. So we get the following result. This is our electron produced represented by the E and the negative one because it has a negative one charge. Likewise, it produces one more proton. So now instead of having 92, it has 93 protons. And that means since our atomic number is now one unit higher, this is a completely new element. So we look at our table and our table tells us that this must be NP. But the number of nucleons remains at 239. And that's because one of the neutrons is destroyed. So now instead of having 147 neutrons as we did in this case, we now have only 146 because 290, 239 minus 93 gives us 146. So look at what happens. To check that this is in fact right, we simply add up these numbers. So negative 1 plus 93 should give us 92, and in fact it does. And 0 plus 239 should give us back 239, and that's exactly what we get. So, this reaction has been checked, and it's correct. Once again, in a beta decay reaction, one of the neutrons is destroyed, and it turns into one electron, so the beta particle, as well as a proton. So, let's look at example number two. In this example, this following atom will undergo alpha decay. So now we have 86 protons and 222 nucleons. So once again, to find the number of uh, neutrons, we simply subtract 222 minus 86, and that will give us the number of neutrons. So, this is our reactant, and it decomposes into an alpha particle as well as another atom. Now, an alpha particle is simply a particle that has two protons and two neutrons, and that's the same exact atomic number as helium. So, our alpha particle is, in fact, helium. So, this guy decomposes into one helium atom, which means that it has two protons, two electrons, and four nucleons, and it decomposes into polonium. Why? Well, because 2 plus 84 should give us back 86. And 4 plus 218 should also give us back 222. So that means to calculate the atomic number of our new atom, we simply subtract 86 minus 2, and that gives us 84. And we check our periodic table of elements, and we see that polonium has 84 uh, protons. So this is alpha decay. Finally, let's look at electron capture. So let's look at the following atom, Hg, which has 80 protons and 201 uh, nucleons. So to, once again, to find our neutrons, we simply take 2, 1, subtract 80, and we should get 121. So there are 121 neutrons found in this molecule. And altogether, we have 201 nucleons. So now this atom undergoes electron capture. Now in a way, electron capture is the reverse of beta decay in the sense, in, in the sense that instead of releasing electrons, it now captures an electron. So let's see what happens. So this atom takes up one electron, 
reacts with the proton to produce a neutron. So we so now we have one less proton, so that means 79 because 80 minus 1 or 80 plus minus 1 gives us 79. And this number remains the same because our electron does not have any uh, neutrons. So now notice we have 201 minus 79, so we have 122 neutrons. That means one of the neutrons was created, and that neutron came from the reaction of one electron plus one proton. And this is known as an electron capture reaction.